Panchabhuthas, Five Elements, An Explanation Panchabhuthas is an important concept in Hindu philosophy. Let's look at it for what it actually represents. First the five elements are Fire, Water, Earth, Air and Ether. The fifth element Ether is also called Prana, Spirit and with many other names which are related to each other. Atheists and rationalists mock the idea of the five elements without even knowing what they actually represent. What are the five elements? What do they represent? Can the universe be created from the five elements? Does the Bhuta Earth represent the Earth we live in? Does fire represent the physical fire we see? Does Akasha mean the sky we see when we look up? The answer is no. Not exactly. The five elements represent the five principles or energies or vibrations of the universe, which can be manifested into many planes of existence, which also includes the physical manifestations. This is similar to the concept of avatar in Hinduism, in which the supreme cosmic consciousness manifesting into different forms and levels. We can look at reality in many ways. We can get different perspectives by looking at reality differently. 1. We can look at everything as unity, Brahman, the source consciousness field, 2. As duality, positive and negative, male and female, yin and yang, Shiva and Shakti, heaven and earth etc. 3. As trinity, mind-body-spirit, male-female-child, white-black-gray, Brahma-Vishnu-Shiva, etc. 4. As four elements, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, fire, water, earth, air. We can't simply consider the five elements as physical objects, they are esoteric spiritual principles. First we omit the fifth element which represent the etheric realm and look at the four elements. So these four elements represent different principles or energies or vibrations in the universe. In another sense the four elements correspond to the following levels of existence. We can see the principle of four manifesting in all over reality, fifth is the etheric realm which is not visible in physical, earth, water, air, fire, ether slash spirit, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, etheric slash akashic, planes of existence, solid, gas, liquid, plasma, states of matter, food, oxygen, water, sunlight, prana, ways of energy intake, prana is breathing in source field or taking energy directly from the etheric realm, north, east, south, west, four directions, winter, spring, summer, autumn, four seasons, 1111, time, fire represents spiritual self, it corresponds to your fire-like actions and the divine spiritual fire within all of us. Your passion, courage etc. are manifestations of the fire principle. Air principle represents the mental self. Our intellect is the manifestation of this vibration. Water principle represents the emotional self. Earth principle or energy or vibration refers to all things physical or mundane. It does not only mean the physical earth we live in. Rather it represents the energy slash vibration that determines the physical characteristics of everything in the universe, which also include our physical earth, and our physical body, stars, planets, galaxies etc. Atheists view this universe as material. Earth is just a rock floating in space, planets and stars consist of only material things. Life has no purpose, the universe is evolving chaos, there is no balance anywhere, nothing has a purpose etc. are the amazing teachings the modern material scientists have given us. What a shame. Hinduism differ. It views the universe as alive, the earth is alive, the planets are alive. Everything has an Atman, a spirit, plants, animals, planets all do. Everything has a purpose. There is order and balance, there is spin or polarity to balance two sides. The earth principle only determine the physical characteristics of planet earth. Our planet has a soul, a collective consciousness called Gaia, which is based on the fifth spirit principle. It has emotions, the manifestations of the water principle or energy. All planets do have emotions and emotional characteristics. They also have spiritual manifestations of the fire principle. They also have varying levels of intellect based on the air principle. This varying energies, emotions etc. of planets and stars are used in astrology. Planets and stars do influence you. Everything is connected. Rationalists won't understand the connection between everything. It is because they only have the left brain activated. They can only analyze things separately, they can't think of the connection between things. They study things taken separately or closed systems and believe that all they discover is the absolute truth. They never understand that there is no closed system in nature or anywhere else, and everything influence everything else. Here in the picture we can see the differences between left brain functionalities and right brain functionalities. Left brain can't make sense out of the other, that is why science can't accept consciousness and spiritual concepts. There must exist a balance between two brain functions. Understanding the concept of platonic solids is vital in understanding the five elements. Now let us look at the concept of platonic solids. Platonic solids have certain characteristics. Their characteristics are 1. All faces are the same size. 2. All edges are the same length. 
3. Only one angle throughout the entire shape. 4. All points touch edge of a sphere perfectly. Only five solids have all these characteristics, they are tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, icosahedron and dodecahedron. They are the platonic solids. Platonic solids are the manifestations of the five principles or energies or vibrations. Sound creates geometry and structure. The entire universe is at its current shape because it is created from a sound, the cosmic vibration of Ohm. When the sound frequency changes the pattern changes and matter changes. So these five shapes or platonic solids represents the five elements. This is the original knowledge of alchemy. Everything in the universe is based on these five elements, for the physical we only require four. Ancients kept this knowledge very sacred. Figure shows the Pythagorean cosmic morphology representing the five platonic solids represented by five elements. Gaia represents the fifth element the spirit or collective consciousness of planet Earth, which is a living being. The fifth element, and the sixth. The fifth element is very important. We can consider this as five elements or separate as fifth and sixth, according to our model. Anyway it is all the same, as everything in existence is primarily based on this vibration, ether, prana, akasha, spirit, consciousness field, void, Gaia, chi, Brahman all these terms are basically related to this fifth element, the soul of the universe. The nothing and everything at the same time, the unmanifested infinity, or Nirguna Brahman, all is this void or the field that exists in it. Explaining this is not the scope of this video, maybe later. In case of the platonic solids dodecahedron represents the spirit slash ether. Dodecahedron is basically the awareness of all the other four elements. Another way of looking at this is that it is the awareness of spiritual, mental, emotional and physical self. When these four are balanced spirit slash consciousness awakens. Akasha is the void, the zero-point field, it is not the sky we see when we look up. The Sanskrit term Akasha means the space between the electrons. It contains the source of everything, it is not vacuum, but rather a plenum of infinite energy, the zero-point radiant field. 99.999% of an atom and all of existence is not matter, it is void. The Akasha, it is the real stuff. Can science discover the truth by studying the 0.001% matter? Never. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence, Nikola Tesla. Isn't Tesla the one who tapped into the zero-point field of infinite energy to create his wireless electricity and free energy? We can also consider the field as the fifth element and sphere or void as the sixth element. The five elements are the basis of everything in existence. Rationalists used to mock this idea. In the 1980s professor of Chicago University and nuclear physicist Robert James Moon discovered that all the elements in the periodic table are directly related to the platonic solids. His model of the atomic nucleus shows that the nucleus of each element is based on platonic solids, so everything in our physical world is based on the four elements. The Russell periodic chart shows the elements with corresponding platonic geometry. So, the ancient Hindus are not foolish people. They understand the universe far better than modern material scientists who consider matter as the ultimate reality.